Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we are working on this apartment 910 Medina Studios from the San Myshuno world that came with the City Living expansion pack. And we are turning this apartment into a teen's sort of first apartment. This is a needs TLC apartment. So it has some pipes and like a mouse hole and maybe a few other things quirky about it. But I just tried to work around those things and make sure they were still accessible when they inevitably break and your sim needs to fix them and uh, yeah I just thought that kind of apartment would also be realistic for a teen's first apartment you know they're not gonna be moving into the nicest place I don't think um, I'll also just say I'm sick so if my voice is a little weird sorry that's my bad um, this is a really quick video though so I figured I could just power through it and hopefully my voice holds up for this whole thing it's only like a five minute video um, but yeah we're going with a very very pink color scheme I thought it would be fun for like storyline if the teen walked into this super crusty apartment saw this like sort of pinky toned linoleum on the floor um, and also like this pinky toned brick on on some of the walls and was like oh I can make this really cute and like really lean into the pink color scheme and just make like the pink apartment of my dreams and then she like saved up worked a lot probably like went to Ikea and bought a bunch of cheap furniture there and sort of made this place her own um, I finished the kitchen the bedroom and now we're moving on to this little walk-in closet space this is my absolute favorite part of the whole apartment I use these dream home decorator modular closet pieces in the white swatch and I just hang a bunch of clothes all over them I put some shoes and other little decorative items storage boxes stuff like that just like a bunch of really cute stuff to make this really really tall closet space and um, your sims can actually reach the closet at the very tippy top <laughs> at the very tippy top there no problem I play tested it but um, just for fun I decided to scroll through the debug menu and find a ladder and just like put it there so you can pretend that your sims climb the ladder to get to their clothes it's not gameplay wise they can't interact with the ladder at all but um, it's just such a cute idea that I thought I would add it um, um, so yeah, let me know what you think. You can always just get rid of the ladder. Um, and if you don't have the cats and dogs pack, don't worry. This ladder is the only item that I used from that pack, so you really don't need it. I'd say mostly you just need dream home decorator in high school years. Oh, and I guess um, city living, since this is a city living apartment. But anyway, now we are moving on into the living space. I went ahead and I covered both the windows with curtains. Usually I like to leave the windows at least partially exposed, but they just didn't match. Like on one side, there's this really small window and on the other side, there's this really big window and it was just like asymmetrical and I didn't really like it. So I decided to just cover it up and just like pretend that it's symmetrical underneath the curtains. So maybe that's like a bit of cheating, but I just thought it looked so much better this way. Feel free to switch it up, of course, if you do decide to download this build, which I'll let you know it is on the gallery. Just search the hashtag Alicia Sims and you should be able to find it. But yeah, I added a little desk space behind the living area there, an easel, probably the only black easel in the game, the one from Universe. City. It turns out that like all of the easels are either like really dark brown or like cream or white like there's I don't know why there's such bad selection on black easels I feel like that would be an obvious addition to the game, but I digress Anyway, um, this is just the washroom and then we are pretty much done after a few last little touches So I hope you enjoyed this video if you notice that I completely gave up on my last endeavor, the 12 days of Winterfest, mind your business, please. I'm so glad nobody has commented requesting the rest of the days of Winterfest because they are not coming. I had what the kids like to call a mental health crisis, if you will, and decided to give up on that. So thank you so much for your understanding. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be back with more. Bye.